So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay. I'm gay. Again? What's going on everybody? Wired here. Hope you guys are having a terrific Tuesday. And once again, we need to talk about clout goblin Dylan Mulvaney, who literally has now come full circle and receiving the entire Mr. Garrison treatment. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, or most of you know, Mr. Garrison is the teacher on South Park. Started out as a straight man, decided uh, pretty early on to be gay. Uh, then a couple seasons later, decided to transition to a woman. Then dated men for a while as a woman. Then decided to start dating women as a woman. <laughs> and then decided to have uh, uh, detransitioning to a man again and i'm not sure if they dated men women then or they just went right back to dating men but in the current timeline uh when mr garrison wasn't being trump uh <laughs> mr garrison is now just a gay man once again which really seems to perfectly describe dylan mulvaney here other than the whole transitioning part because we all know that this is all for clout none of this is real this is all just to eat up gobs of money and hey Guess what? It's completely working for this person because people are stupid. People eat this crap up. For some reason, this person has been put on a pedestal when they really should be put in a straight jacket. But I'm going to play this whole clip here. Uh, and let's, uh, let's get into it. it. Really, really interesting stuff. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think- You see, you see what they did right there? Gay, queer, non-binary, trans. It's like anything you could possibly do to grasp on for attention, you have done in your lifetime. This is just another one of those things. I'm not getting enough attention being a trans person. So now I will be a trans lesbian because maybe I'll get more attention because I need to stay relevant. I need attention. Anything I can possibly do. Oh. And guess what? It's working because I'm talking about it right now. So, I, I you know, I, I good grift on you, Dylan, because, you know, oh, my God, it's just... I, I really don't mean to give Dylan more attention. I just think it's insane who society props up. I really do. And that not enough people will call these people out because one, they're idiots. Two, uh, they're disingenuous or they're, they're just bamboozled. Or three, I guess some people really don't care. Uh, you know, and maybe that's the approach I should start taking with it because yeah, it's just like this. It's just so infuriating to see somebody grift off of this movement. I don't like people making a mockery of women. I don't like people making a mockery of these movements that are supposed to be inclusive and whatnot. But they've been ruined by people who want to come in here and just get clout off of it. It's really shameful. It really is. I think it was just a bit of a shock. So I tell my dad and he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, no, no. She would be getting me pregnant. And then he said, what, do you have a vagina now? And I said, never say never. And then I, I'm going to say never right now. That will never, ever happen because that's going to go against this entire grift. This person is never going to commit to that level because they're a phony, because they're a fraud. And, you know, you could make the argument, oh, you know, it's all an act. It's all just comedy, bro. You know, you just don't get it. This is a movement that's supposed to be inclusive, Correct. So if you have people disingenuously coming in here to just hijack the movement for their own personal clout, for their own personal pockets, just so they can make a name for themselves, make money, you're hurting everybody else in the movement. Because a lot of people are going to think and associate you with that since you're now the face of it and you're completely disingenuous. But I guess some people just don't really care what happens or who they tear down or what the effects are of what they do. They don't care about children. They don't care about women. They just care about lying in their pockets and, you know, having people on TikTok here go, oh, slay, queen, slay. It's truly disgusting. It really is. Then I tell my mom and she goes, 
I would just love to see you own property one day. And in California, that's sort of, you know, a, a parent's dream. It's not having kids or getting married. It's, it's, are you able to own a house? Um, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure uh, Dylan here can own a house. They've made multi, multi millions within the past year off of this grift. I'm sure whenever they want to settle down, they'll be set for life. They never have to do anything else. Somehow got on this train of just, you know, making fun of women, making fun of trans people. It's just absolutely insane. Don't think they'll ever have a kid, though, because that would, you know, when you can't be uh, or you shouldn't be selfish or narcissistic when you have children. You got to put them first, which I don't think Dylan is possibly capable of because Dylan is only out for Dylan and doesn't really care about anything else. But what's even more astounding than this, and I'm not going to harp on this for too, too much longer. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's TikTok, is the comments. I'm so sorry about how mean some of these comments are. I honestly don't see what their problem is. These comments don't pass the vibe check. Anyway, love your hair. That's not how it works. I don't know what that's in response to, but... Uh, I am confused, but wish you good health and contentment. Every, sun days. Everybody's confused. Every single person is confused right now. Bro, what is America now? Tutorial and hairstyle, please. Ugh. That pink vest is adorable. Don't you don't know your parents, but one thing I can guarantee about them, they are patient. I, yeah, I'm on the wrong side of TikTok. I don't think there's a right side of TikTok. Sexuality is fluid. You keep on discovering yourself, so don't worry about it. I, like, that's the amazing thing. It's like this person has irreparably damaged the LGBTQ stuff. Really has kiboshed it. And yet nobody seems to care. Everyone's just kind of okay with it. I know a lot of LGBT people do not agree with this person. They don't want this person to be the face of the movement because they are a grifter. They, are, they don't care about anything they say. They will do anything. What did, what did I say earlier? Oh, I came out as gay. Then I was non-binary. Then I'm trans. Now I'm a trans person who's a lesbian. Anything you can do to stay relevant. The next move is you're going to identify as, a, you know, uh, an animal. You'll, you'll be a cat next. A cat who's attracted to dogs, probably. or so, And that, that'll be the next thing. It's literally like you just watch South Park and you're like, you know what character I really want to emulate? Mr. Garrison. Because Mr. Garrison is the most wholesome character on South Park. Nothing wrong with Mr. Garrison at all. Completely normal human being. Definitely not a parody of anything. Okay. I'm, all right. I got to stop talking about this. I, I really, I'm sick of making videos on Dylan, but every time I turn around, they're doing something else. And I probably shouldn't, I probably should stop talking about this. But I, I, I just hate the hypocrisy. I hate the, this person being so disingenuous. And I really hate that they're put on a pedestal for it. I really do. They're at, we should put teachers on pedestals, firefighters, police officers, people who contribute meaningfully to society. But no, we're, that's, we're living in 2023, and this is peak clown world. Anyway, that's all I got. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening this long, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.